This is at a drive-in near Fort Hood, Texas. It's been around for years, and it's a very um, important uh, piece of Americana, but it's also a dying piece of Americana. People are saying, you know, they want to go back to American values, and what does that mean? And, you know, it's people going to church, people, you know, doing things as a family unit, and that's what you see here. This particular family, the kids, um, their father is a Mexican immigrant, became a U.S. citizen while serving in the U.S. military. They're experiencing the, it's the American experience. They're at a drive-in movie theater, totally distracted by smartphones, and um, sitting in the back of, of a minivan. You are seeing that a lot of Im immigrant families are embracing uh, Americana. It just might not look the way it did 50 years ago. You start to set up this wonderful texturing where we have family history, and we have then um, the beauty of the father becoming an American citizen, and so that informs like how we see this kid. But it's so much about, you know, it's, it's, it's a historical reference it's, that's powerful. Things are changing, you know, and that's, that's what we wanted to do with this project, to look at, look at these very min minuscule things that show the change. And, um, you know, to talk about the other photo that you had in here, you know, the big story right now is the border. Just right before I made this photograph, there were uh, close to 50 women and children that crossed in broad daylight right to the border patrol. And they were told by, by the coyotes, you know, oh, just go turn yourselves in, they'll take care of you. This like teardrop shape is Mexico. And you can see there's actually a road that, that these roads have been put in by the border patrol now. Um, there, there's, not, there's not a fence, but you, what you get, it, the context of this is that people talk about a fence. Border patrol has put in these roads now so they could drive around and, and at least patrol and keep an eye on crossings there, and it's very active. Just right before I made this photograph, there were uh, close to 50 women and children that crossed in broad daylight right to the border patrol, and they were told by, by the coyotes, you know, oh, just go turn yourselves in, they'll take care of you. So, um, you know, this is certainly a backdrop of what's happening, but what I think is that um, we have to stop thinking about immigration just in terms of the border. As a sim symbolism freak, I saw this, and, I'm, and it's still ringing around in my head. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, you start to think about politically, the political narrative, and how the right wing thinks that, you know, what you have is Mexicans that are, like, trying to, you know, kind of invade us, and then you can start to almost get sexual illusions from something like this, you know? I mean, it's like this thing that's, like, inserting itself into, you know, our thing. And um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about content first. You know, I'm thinking about okay, what's the story? The story is about this ungovernable, gun, un, unpatrollable piece of land, you know, and to show, you know, the relationship between Texas and Mexico and, and, and the border and how, and also, you know, when I made the picture, I was actually a little frustrated that there wasn't a border patrol vehicle or some kind of action going on in it. But now that I look at it more, I, I actually prefer it because it's more ambiguous, you know, and it, and it shows that it's just a river.